Hello and welcome to Africa Media Matters, featuring interviews and comment about media issues across the African continent. I'm Alex Jakana. As the crisis in Ivory Coast enters a third month, the United Nations peacekeeping force deployed in the country, UNOSI, says it has been a victim of a hate campaign by the state-owned broadcaster RTI. The station is currently controlled by journalists loyal to Laurent Gbagbo, who is refusing to hand over power to Alassane Ouattara, largely recognized by the international community as the winner of November's presidential election. The UNOSI spokesman, Hamadoun Toure, told Yigal Shazan about the TV campaign and the kind of intimidation peacekeepers are facing as a result. We were accused of having rebels, providing them military assistance, transporting them in our vehicles, and the consequences were attacked by the population. We have some people visiting our residences, asking us to leave the country. Also, they gave orders to all suppliers not to sell fuel to ODC staff, not to accept ODC staff in supermarkets or in shops, and also to do whatever possible to make our lives miserable here. So on the ground, we have people trying to prevent us from carrying out our usual tasks. So there is a campaign on television and you have the results, the negative results on the streets. How serious a threat is it to the UN operation in Ivory Coast? It's very serious. This will prevent us to execute our mandate to do what we are supposed to do here, to provide assistance to Ivorians. It's also difficult to protect the population. You can't do this job. You can't even come to work. In addition to that, there are physical attacks on our staff, so it's very, very serious. They are doing whatever possible to intimidate, but also to prevent us from working. What action has the UN taken to try and stop the incitement? We are carrying out patrols. We are having more and more robust patrols. We are trying to cope with the situation. We are trying to overcome obstacles. Sometimes we use also tear gas, sometimes we shoot on the air. But, uh, of course, not to hit the population, because there is a kind of trap. You have the civilian population they put on the roads to block our patrols. At the same time, you have some military guys around them to intimidate. So what can you do? You cannot shut the civilian population you are supposed to protect. But what have you done to try and prevent the state broadcaster from its campaign of incitement against the UN? We have our radio, of course, where we try to get records straight. We also have the international media. We have international correspondents here through whom we can pass on our message to the rest of the world. We also have our own information tools. The opposition media have also been accused of stirring things up. Is there a danger that this media war will spark a conflict? Well, it's very serious. We have already lost the small social cohesion we managed to build during the last few years. So, of course, if it continues like this, it will fuel tension, it will also fuel hatred between communities and, of course, lead to communal clashes. And what has Ban Ki-moon said of the campaign that's been targeting you? Oh, of course, he denounced the campaign. We've been very vocal and we got the support from Mr. Ban Ki-moon. Is there any possibility that the state broadcaster might be investigated by the International Criminal Court? Well, the director is already under sanction. He will be held accountable, of course. That was UNOSI spokesman Hamadoun Toure. IWPR, giving voice, driving change.